Today, we will answer a geometry challenge given by one of our followers. And this question is created by Master Marvin Kalngan. And let's have the question. First, let's have a rectangle with the dimension of 9 by 8 units. Now, let's draw a circle that is tangent to three sides of this rectangle. And then, let's draw a small circle that is tangent to two sides of this rectangle and tangent to the bigger circle. Now, the question is, what is the total measure of the green area? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. All right, so to answer this question, what we're going to do is to focus on the important points. And the important points when we have circle is, of course, its center. Now, from here, if we draw the radius directly to the point of tangency, we know this is a right angle. And we know also the length of this radius because this circle is perfectly fit inside the rectangle. So the radius, the length of this radius must be half of 8, which is equal to 4 units. Now, let's drop a perpendicular line like this. And this is the radius of the small circle. And we don't know what is the measure of this radius. So let's call this as r. Now, if we find the value of this r, then we're done. Because the green area is just the sum of the areas of these two circles. So now... To get the value of this r, what we're going to do is to connect those centers like this. Now, what is the measure of this segment? This is just 4 plus r, the radius of the big circle, plus the radius of the smaller circle. Next, let's draw a perpendicular line like this. This perpendicular line to the radius of the big circle. Now, the question is, what is the measure of this segment? This is technically the length of the radius of the big circle minus the radius of the smaller circle. So this is just 4 minus r. And look at this. We have a right triangle with a hypotenuse 4 plus r, and one of its legs is 4 minus r. Now, we want to find the measure of this segment. So let's call this as x. And of course, to solve for the value of x, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. So here it is. We have x squared plus 4 minus r raised to the power of 2, equals 4 plus r raised to the power of 2. And if we expand 4 minus r raised to the power of 2, we get something like 16 minus 8r plus r squared. And if we expand 4 plus r raised to the power of 2, we get 16 plus 8r plus r squared. Now, if we subtract 16 on both sides, so this 16 cancel out, this is just 0. And if we subtract r squared on both sides, so those r squareds are gone, this is just 0. So, what we left is x squared minus 8r equals 8r. Now, add 8r on both sides. 8r plus 8r, this will give us 16r. And to solve for the value of x, we know x is greater than 0 or a positive number, real number. So what we're going to do is to get the square root on both sides. And take note, we have positive values only because x is a real number, positive real number. So on the left side, we have x, and on the right-hand side, we have square root of 16 is 4, so this will give us 4 times square root of r. And that is the length of this segment, x, in terms of r. Now, if we find the value of r, then again, we're done. So now, how do we get the value of this radius, r? So now, let's go back to our information we know. That the radius of this big circle is 4 and the radius of the small circle is r. Now, if we draw the radius of the big circle like this, we know this is perpendicular to the side of this rectangle. And we know also that it measures 4 units. And also, let's drop a radius like this also. This is perpendicular to the side of this rectangle. And we know its length. This is just r. Now, if we rearrange some segments like this, take note, when we add 4, 4 times square root of r and r, this will give us the length of this rectangle, which is equal to 9. So, if we add 4 plus 4 times square root of r and r, we get 9. So, let's solve for the value of r. First, let's subtract 4 on both sides. 
Now, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. And let's have equal to 0. And now, this r is a positive real number. So, we can rewrite this as square root of r raised to the power of 2. Now, why we do that? Because we now have a quadratic equation in terms of square root of r. So, we can factor this out. Because this negative 5, we can think of negative 1 times 5. And positive 4 is negative 1 plus 5. Therefore, this entire equation, we can factor this out as follows. We have square root of r minus 1 multiplied by square root of r plus 5. And take note, it is equal to 0. And since it is equal to 0, we can say that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So square root of r minus 1 equals 0. Or square root of r plus 5 equals 0. Now let's solve for the value of square root of r. First, we have square root of r equals 1. And the second, square root of r equals negative 5. And this is not possible because r is a positive real number. So square root of r cannot be a negative number. So square root of r equals negative 5 is not accepted. So what we're going to do is we have square root of r equals 1. Now, if we square on both sides, we get that r equals 1. Therefore, the length of this radius must be equal to 1. Now, at this point, we want the green area or the sum of the areas of these two circles. And we can easily do that because the area of the circle must be equal to pi r squared. We know the value of r on the big circle. We have 4. So the area of this big circle must be equal to pi times 4 squared or simply equal to 16 pi. And the small circle must be equal to pi square units. And the sum or the total green area must be equal to 16 pi plus pi square units. And if we add these two together, we get 16 pi square units. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this information, the total green area must be equal to 17 pi square units. And as always, we are done.